Um, Doc, I'm sorry. My aunt just texted. No worries, Peter. I was thinking of taking a break myself. As soon as I check our telemetry data. Thanks. I'll be back in a few hours. Thank you again, Peter. Don't know what I'd do without you. I only wish you'd told me sooner, Doc. I didn't want to burden you. And if I'm honest, telling you made my condition that much more real. I was afraid. My condition is worsening, but I choose to view it as a challenge. Extra incentive to push forward. Doc's really doubling down on defense contracts. Hopefully the neural prosthetic will work, so he doesn't have to sell his soul to keep the lights on. The device will need two parts to function. The first will be an entirely original prosthesis, a modular system of microcables able to take on any number of forms, whatever the user can imagine. The second part, and this, Peter, is the true genius, is a direct neural interface, a direct tap straight into the basal ganglia. Unleash the brain from your mind to reality. This goes beyond limb replacement, Peter. This will free all of us from the shackles of our bodies. Like your web friend, soon we'll all be capable of living our most amazing fantasies. Hi, May. Let me guess, running late? Nope, I'm actually on my way now. Have you heard from Miles? No, but his mother said he was coming, so... Good. I'll be there soon. Bye. I saw coming a mile away. Go ahead. Well, I was coming out of the bathtub last night when I glanced out my window, and, and what do I see? Spider-Man, swinging by like he owns the place. I was naked. Madam, you have my sympathies. Just imagine what sort of deviant personality would dress up like that in the first place. And it's a short step from there to peeping Tom activity. Folks, it doesn't matter if you live on the first floor or the 31st. Keep your curtains drawn. Lock your windows! A webbed pervert walks among us! <laughs> 